Originally, for our final exam project, we wanted to do something involving poetry. We started working on the project for a few weeks and soon got bored. So we decided to move to cake decorating. Because we are such amateurs, we started by watching and studying cake decorating videos and other web sources. Here are some clips of some of the videos that we studied. Watching these videos gave us a better idea on how to properly work with our materials. Next, we emailed several professionals to see if they could give us any tips on cake decorating. Unfortunately, none of them responded. Next, we wanted to start practicing our icing techniques. We decided to practice piping on cupcakes and wax paper. This made it easier than piping directly on the cake because we were able to look at the different piping tips and different icing consistencies. Although it may seem quite obvious, throughout this, we learned that you have to be really steady while putting icing on the cake. While using a cake board, you have to rotate it at a steady pace. And there is a thing called too much icing. Eventually, we got more comfortable with our skills. So, we headed over to Bulk Barn to get supplies for our final cake. We knew we needed lots of colorful candy. To name a few, we decided on lots of jelly beans, gumdrops, gummy bears, butterscotches, and jujubes. Next, we began to bake our cake. At first, we planned our video to look like this. As the day progressed, the lighting soon became yellow due to the fact that we didn't have natural lighting anymore. So we abandoned the idea and started filming in a less formal way. One of the cakes didn't properly bake, so we had to redo a whole batch. Later we realized that we didn't add salt to the first batch, so we made sure to do that in the second one. Trimming the cake was quite difficult because the cake was extremely crumbly. We later realized a pound cake would have worked way better. We began icing the first cake. We then placed the second cake on the first one. Finally, we iced the entire cake. While the final two cakes were in the oven, we began dyeing and rolling the fondant.
When we first started, we realized the fondant was sticking to the rolling pin, so we decided to add icing sugar. We cut thick strips of the fondant to place on the cake. We then placed the fondant strips on the cake like so. We then used our piping skills to fill in the rest of the cake. Finally, we melted some white chocolate. And we used blue food dye to dye the chocolate. and made candy-shaped chocolates to place on the cake. We actually didn't end up using these because they were too big to put on the cake. And here is our final cake. It's not the best, but we were happy with our results considering it was our first try at a professional cake.